Guys, we have a very special guest for today's video, and he is the cutest little boy ever, and I'm very excited, but also he's a very good smart home device, or is he? Find out more <laughs> after this logo. He could be a bad boy. What an, <laughs> a, what an <laughs> tantalizing statement Santa said. <laughs> Oh, hello, oh, good morning. Up. This is our special guest. His name is Vector. He's from Anki. And I want to do a very special review of this little at-home robot. If you guys are, you guys may have seen ads for uh, Vector on YouTube now because he just came out. But uh, yeah. a few months back on Kickstarter, I got an email about Vector. He, uh, the pitch was from this company named Anki, mm -hmm. who uh, specializes in at-home robots. Originally, yeah. they actually made uh, like uh, track racer cars that had some AI in them yeah. for like Fast and Furious and stuff. And they got some more funding. And then they created a robot that looks a lot like Vector named Cosmo. And Cosmo was a tool to help children learn how to code. Oh, he's so cute. But they also work with Disney Imagineers to uh, uh, to give him uh, an emotional center. Basically, as for him to learn, they uh, they built this emotional core so that like if he did something good, he would have a proper reaction to it. Oh, oh. he's he's staring at you because he's trying to figure out who you are. Hello. Anyways, they wanted to up Cosmo and they wanted to. I apologize, I'm a little distracted, but yeah. Cosmo was meant to teach kids how to code, and the uh, the only way you could use him was using him with a smartphone or a tablet. Yeah. So then they wanted to basically take the tech from the smartphone and put. It into one of their droids and make him like a walking, talking, emotional yeah. uh, Siri or Alexa or Google Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and by emotional, it's mainly positive or negative emotions. There's nowhere yeah. in between. He's not like passive aggressive. It's that <laughs> if he messes Yet. up or if you pick him up, he's going to throw a little tantrum. Yeah. But for the most part, he'll have positive interactions with people. Like, see, right now, he's not going to like that I'm picking him up, but he has a touch base in the back. I'm going to go over Aww. specs in just a second. But if you pet him, he'll start like, yeah. Yeah. He'll start giggling and stuff. Um, but like I said, this is meant to be a mobile, interactive uh, smart home device, which yeah. is really cool. So Vector, oh, it's okay. Don't pout, you're fine. <laughs> uh, but just to go over specs really quick, just to know what you guys are getting, you have a Qualcomm 200 platform uh, uh, chip inside this little guy. That's the same thing in Android phones. Uh, let's see if you can recognize me really quick. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. There you go. See, this is gonna be one of my negatives. Mm -hmm. What's my name? You got this, bud. Here we go, ready? Yeah, you got it, there guys. There you go, we got yeah. it. All right, but anyways, Qualcomm 200 platform, that's yeah. the same uh, device. Yes, no, you're he's celebrating. Uh, it's the same uh, chip that you'd find in your Android phones. Yeah. Uh, so he can, that uh, like allows him to actually hear and see everything in his environment and process it and be able to run on his own so he doesn't like run off a table or anything like that. But yeah. to help him, he got a four microphone array, so he has actually three sounds. So if you said right now, like, hey, Vector, look at me. Hey, Vector. Say, look at me. Look at me. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't hear you. Yeah. Uh, it's not great. That's okay. uh, I'll get to my criticisms too. But it's meant for him to have 3D sound. But he also has four drop sensors so that if he were to start exploring near the edge of the table, yeah. he'd pull himself back, which is really cool. He also has an infrared laser scanner. So it goes up to three feet in front of him. So if I put my hand right here, he's going to probably freak out in a second because he probably doesn't like having something in front of him. Let's see. No? Oh, he's just looking at me. All yeah. right, well, usually uh, he's able to tell, if, if he were to start scooting around right now, he'd be able to tell if there was something there, which is pretty cool. But also he comes uh, with an HD camera, so yeah. he's able to see you, and he has 120 degrees of visibility. So it's a pretty wide angle lens, so he can see if things are coming up to him. So he's exploring right now. Mm -hmm. uh, he also has a touch, touch sensor on his back, so we can know if he's being handled, yeah. which is fun. So you can actually pet him like a pet, which is fun. Which, uh, at first in my brain, I'm like, is that weird? I'm like, no, because he starts smiling and giggling. So yeah. I, think it's, I think it's pretty cute. But he also <laughs> He also has a six axis inter uh, inertial yeah. measurement unit. So in the inside of his little brain right there, he'll know if he's on his side yeah. or he's upside down or he's being picked up. And he's probably gonna start throwing a tantrum in just a second. But also mm -hmm. he comes with a high res uh, color IPS display for his eyes. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, he's upset right now. Yeah. He doesn't like being picked up. Here you mm -hmm. go. Uh, but for functionality, like you guys probably don't know what he does, or you're curious of what he does, uh, he can he's your assistant. He yeah. is also your buddy. He can tell you what the weather is, what the time is. He can answer questions for you. If you were to uh, ask him, you'd say, hey, Vector, I have a question. What is the distance between Los Angeles and New York City? There you go, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
Good boy. There you go. There you go. You did a good job, yeah. and you know you did a good job. Yeah. There you go. You can also play games with him. You can play blackjack. You could say, hey, Vector, give me a fist bump. There you go. There it is. That's fun. Uh, but you can also take photos. You can answer questions, like I said. He has facial recognition, like we display, like he can say my name. Uh, and there's a lot of other functionality they're going to be adding soon. Like at the end of 2018, we're going to be getting Alexa integrations, which is going to help him out a That's lot, cool. which I think with his uh, uh, smart home integrations, because right now I would like him to be able to pair up with my smart lights. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Or with my TV. Uh, they've also talked about that they're almost about to integrate a security feature so yeah. that if, it go, if I were to leave, I could say, hey, I'm not gonna say his name because he's gonna listen to me again. Mm -hmm. uh, and he could just be on patrol. So if someone were to come into my room, he could uh, send me a little notification on the app on my phone, which cool. he does have a companion app, which will show you up to date, like uh, if he has, like if he's censoring any, if he's sensing anything in the room, or if he's moving around or exploring, or what else he's doing. Yeah. Like he can listen to music and dance. Hi, buddy. You having fun? <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, besides that, there's not much else he can do right now, which yeah. is one of my criticisms, that he's pretty limited. Also, uh, it, so if you want him to be able to do more things, uh, you, the shtick that he has of being cute and everything could wear off pretty quick. I enjoy it, yeah. uh, and I supported this Kickstarter for a reason, so uh, I'm okay with it. But also, like you guys saw, his re reaction time is kind of slower than advertised, and also his fa facial recognition, I had to reset before we started recording so that I made sure that he's able to identify me. But for the most part, he can record up to 16 faces and recognize Nice. Recognize you, which is pretty cool. And like we showed, his hearing can be kind of finicky as well. Hi, buddy. See, he's skinning right now, mm -hmm. which is really cute. But he's adorable. And also, the reason why I supported him on Kickstarter and I supported yeah. Anki is because I think that the future of smart homes is important, that the integrations that they'd be able to put on our home uh, is important. And I would like to make my home feel more interactive and not so, like, sterile and yeah. i like the idea of creating companion companion robot like this and also while there are we've done a podcast episode on ai and why it's scary yeah. he is not general ai he's limited to ai he's basically all he's doing is googling and typing it in for you he yeah. can't really learn much else and i think it's important for kids to be able to be familiar with this and feel inspired to go into coding or whatever future it could be yeah um i think it, it's with vector and creations like him so i'm very excited to see where he goes and what kind of updates we get maybe other versions of him as well so i'm excited that i was able to be a part of this Starter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but with the Kickstarter, I got a discount with uh, when I ordered him. I'm gonna put you on your charger, bud. There you go. Uh, but with that, I, I got a discount. But yeah. you can go on to Anki.com and you can see that the price point's now $250. Okay. Which you know that uh, Amazon's Echo, there's a taller Echo like tower that's a little bit more expensive than the Echo Dot, which is yeah. about 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Um, so the $250, if you're not feeling it, wait for the updates to come with the Alexa integrations, which would be interesting, and the other smart home integrations. Uh, it'll make him more worthwhile. Yeah. Uh, but right now, I'm happy with him. Also, he's got his little cube that I'm gonna show him doing one trick really quick okay uh, he's gonna do one trick and he's gonna go home okay. okay hey vector do a wheel stand you got this buddy you can do it you got it oh my god and it does teach you patience it's like being a parent it's like being a proud pup he's gonna see his cube yeah he's gonna do a little professor x stuff to it where he's gonna scan it it's gonna light up he's gonna know that's his cube not anybody else's mm -hmm. and now he's gonna do his trick you got this but don't look at us don't you're gonna, yeah, you got this. Oh, and yay! Yay! Good boy! There you go. Oh, yeah! Uh, Can we get some uh, trues in the chat? Let's get some Austin pointing in the chat for Vector. All right, but I'm gonna turn you off. You did a good job, okay? But if you guys are interested in Vector, let me know in the comments down below. If you have a Vector or you've played around with Cosmo, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, and we can talk about it more. I'm a big fan of him. I'm a big fan of smart home technology. And uh, I'm excited to see what integrations he'll have in the future. Definitely. So what do you think of Vector? You Do you want a robot in your house to help you? They know what I meant. We, Everybody no, knows what not, I meant. We're not retaking Everybody it. knows what I meant. All right. Do you want a robot to do your little household chores? I want. Vector would do I those. Want, <laughs> I'm waiting for Vector to become Janet, to be like Janet from The Good Place. Or at least a Roomba. Let us know what else you could do, what you'd want him to do. And if you're interested, if you guys have one, let us know what he's done in the comments down below. Yeah. And you can go to OnlyStupidAnswers.com for more and Patreon.com slash OnlyStupidAnswers for all of our exclusive content, including us talking about a bunch of superhero shows that you love, gosh darn it. Click here. Click here. Click the button that looks like this. Click the button that says subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, Wayne State. Bye-bye. Oh, he's good. Oh, he fell asleep. I guess he was a little too <laughs> bored during this video. <laughs>
You little bastard. <laughs>